Cheers! Cheers. Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, Movie Bitches. Bitches! A retro review, episode four, The Mummy. The Mummy. And The Mummy Returns. The Mummy Returns. 1999 classic. Okay. And the 2001 disaster. <laughs> or is it In classic? An inadvertent, camptastic disaster. So here's what I'm just gonna say. Uh -huh. Okay, well, so obviously we're reviewing these I mean, on their own merit, but also because Tom Cruise, unfortunately, is part of a remake of the Mummy series that's coming out. And this is my question. How and why? Sure. I, the, the new one, I don't think is part of the same. No. It's obviously not. Like, no one is there from the original movies. No. It just seems like, hey, you know, it's an IP, we can use the Mummy. But why? Because it's an IP we can use that we already own the rights to. I guess. And Tom Cruise agreed, so like it's guaranteed to make money. Yeah. <sighs> it doesn't look wholly terrible. It looks pretty bad. I, yeah. Here's my thing. It'll be it'll be fun. No, see, I don't think it will be. Really? Oh no, I don't think it will be. The new one to me silly. looks like they've like Christopher Nolanified it. Oh no. They took it. I don't think so. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you're right. Who knows? Because I think it's gonna be like not this silly, not as silly as these, which I love. I love these movies. Love. I thought they were so fun. I loved them when I was a kid, and maybe that's why, like, partly it's like I still yes. have this bias oh, for them. I think the first movie is legit one of the best movies. Wow. I love The Mummy. I will defend The Mummy. I love it. Wow. It's See, what's so, so funny good. to me is that I actually think I prefer don't, The Mummy Return. Don't say it. Do not say that. <laughs> Shut up. Are you kidding? <laughs> the original is so much the, better! The, yeah, yes, yes, yes. The yes. original, like, caught lightning in a bottle. It was like, sure. Here's this tone that's impossible to predict. You well, know? okay, though. I mean, the, the tone, tone is, is insane, but it's like, it. It balances it somehow. Well, what I really like about these movies is that it's like a silly, campy ripoff of yeah. Indiana Jones. Absolutely. And, and I think the first get one it. almost like successfully achieved the tone of yes. Indiana Jones. Although it's so, although the Indiana Jones is also pretty graphic. Oh, yeah. Well, not like showing, like so many people were murdered in I this film. I was terrified of the mummy. Oh yeah, as a child. when I was a child, yes. Saw it in the theaters, sat up with my feet on the chair. the little scarabs. The scarabs and was like, oh no, you're not getting me. Uh-uh, it was really scary. I, I remember that feeling. Um, the second one, not so much. Not, not, so, not as much, no. The second one went goofy. Yes. Which is funny in its own way. But it's like campier, and so I had fun with it. Somehow The Mummy is like almost a real movie for me. Yeah, well, yeah, it, it, it really kind of is. It, it's pretty It's a little great. too convoluted to be like a... Next to the second one? The second one is so convoluted. I guess, yeah. Like, what? What oh was boy. going on in the second oh one? Oh my gosh. They were like, we have to get every single cast member back that didn't die. Or maybe they did. Well, Benny wasn't there. Benny wasn't, but he got, he, he he got eaten, eaten by scarabs. Alive by scarabs. <laughs> by Benny. was terrifying. And I'll say this. The special effects in the original don't look terrible. No. Particularly for coming out in 1999. I, Particularly. I it's agree. It's that the second it, one looks so much worse. So like, much worse. So much worse. Oh my god, when... No. I mean... Are we there? I mean... We are not there yet. <laughs> we are not there yet. <laughs> okay. We will get there. No, but so, I mean, so the, the mummy... Yes. Yes. I would like to talk more about we, Okay, so we, we start off and they're like, Choo, here we are. Ancient Egypt. You know what works about it for me? Mm -hmm. Is that ancient Egypt is like its own time and place. Yes. It's like a flashback. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like how Tron, when you're in 3D, you're in the, the grid. Game, yeah. And so it like has a purpose. Mm -hmm. For me, that worked for this where I was like, oh, this looks like a video game. But it was like, but an ancient. It looks like a good video game, yeah. and it's like ancient. We're we're rolling back tape, uh -huh, uh -huh. you know, and it's like, okay, I'll give you that. Well, I'll and then all the stuff in the twenties, in the present right, time, present day, is a lot of practical, a yes. really gorgeous production design, great costumes. I will like, say they this: they filled in a lot of things that made me like it. It did feel 
90s. Like, the shots were so long. Oh, yeah. And I loved it. I was like, I, I can forgotten. tell what's happening in this action scene. Oh my god, it's a wide shot where they're just doing a choreographed fight scene and I can tell who is who and why they're fighting each other. I am amazed. <laughs> I was genuinely like, this is great. The negative side of that yes. is that it also has that 90s like lighting and like the set felt very like set like for me even though it did feel like i mean they they filled in the gaps yes. like they did their due diligence but like compared to now it felt like when you go to jungle cruise you're like oh here's the anthropologist workroom with their glasses you know right. like it felt like a set yes but a good set yes 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 I think because things are shot for HD now, and because people's TVs are so much better, right? it's like you can have a scene where half of the frame is just black. Mm -hmm. It's dark, right? But back on the older TVs, no one would know what was happening. Oh no. You like, oh, it if had you were, to be well it lit. It had to be really well lit because otherwise no one would be able to see what was going on. It's a real well lit pyramid. <laughs> <It's laughs> so, like, right? Oh, the well, good thing they had that trick with those the, mirrors. It's yeah. really well lit. Really well lit. Rachel Weiss looks <gasps> gorgeous. Gorgeous. Is she like maybe the most beautiful woman in the world? I mean, she's up there, wow. right? She, I love her. I mean, on top of the fact that she's just fabulous. And she's aged like, really well. She's aged fabulously. I was just like, God, she is so pretty. She's so, I forgot. I mean, she looks so young and like ingenue -y, <laughs> yes. But I was just like, yes, girl, get it. Yeah. Like, gorgeous. Yeah. Like, I think, really. I would say the only thing that has imp that improved from the first movie to the second movie was really her eyebrows. I think that is the only mm. clear improvement that they made. Feel that. Because the first one, they were real plucked. It was the 20s, I get it. And then the second one, she was a little... It was the 30s. She was a little more of a woman. Sure. Well, yeah, she'd come into her own. Yeah. It, yeah. Was, a, it was a character choice. It was a character choice. It was, it was. <laughs> so we start off and it's like the CG and whatever. And it, like, it doesn't look god awful. It really did. But he was like, oh, Seti the first or whatever. There's just like all of this like backstory. And it's like mm. very exposition heavy. I won't say it was confusing per se. But it's like if you're not paying attention or if you right. are still getting popcorn, you are screwed. I guess since I've seen this movie enough times, 20 times, you know, or something, I was like, oh, yeah. This is when the Oksana Moon and a Oksana Hotel, Moon. Every time they said her name, I wanted to say Oksana Bayul. <laughs> Oksana Moon. Oksana Bayul. The Oksana Moon. Oksana like Bayul, come back. <laughs> no. I love this movie. I love the first one. <laughs> I find the second one to be hilariously <laughs> stupid. Yes. I have so much fun watching it with the stupid balloon and the. Oh my god! I mean, it couldn't get dumber. It couldn't get dumber. Well, I mean, are we. It well, it matter? could because the, the third one, I'm oh. assuming. I didn't watch the third oh, one. Oh god. Well, don't. Oh my. You, you, you didn't see the third one? Mm -mm. Oh Jesus. I still had some sort of faith in this franchise for some reason oh, gosh. because I just loved the first one. So I was like, I gotta do it. Jet Lee's in it. Love Jet Lee. Oh, yeah. Michelle Yeoh's in it. Love Michelle Yeoh. Yeah. Um, it is a piece of garbage. Um, Rachel Weiss was like, nah, I'm good. And they replaced her with Maria Bello with dyed hair. And it looks so wrong. I was like, you guys should have just killed her character. Off. Right? Like it was, it oh, was Oh, that bad. horrible accident where your mom got crushed oh, by no. that booby I mean, trap because she never read a fucking book before she opened it. I mean, don't get me started on that fucking kid. Oh, so you found the kid that annoying? This movie's like the poster child for why children shouldn't be in action movies. That's so funny. I didn't find him annoying because he's like all cheeky British. No. Oh my God. He was so annoying. My dad is going to kick your ass. They well, seem to hate their child. Sure. They were like, we are saddled with you. I just like that they never like included their child in anything. Oh, they were like, get out of here. Go play in the ruins. Yeah. I, mean, I want you to wait but, for us up there. But, okay? No. Pick up your stuff and I'll see you up in the temple. <laughs> What should I do? I don't know. Surprise me. We don't need you around. Go play in these. He was literally like, this kid's ruins. driving me crazy. Get out of here. Like he was like over it. Then they're about to die. There's like this huge flood. Neither of them it goes. Oh no, Alex. Oh right. God. We should. Who's going to take son. care of our child? They're both just like, ah, let's get out of here. I mean, they they like 
definitely it was an unplanned pregnancy. Like that that happened. Yeah. They did not want this child. <laughs> and they're bad parents. Yeah. They're terrible parents. They're horrible parents. Horrible parents. Who brings their child along with them on an excursion of cursed, like, Egyptian ruins when, mind you, you know they, they have <laughs> previously nearly brought on the apocalypse. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. By, by exploring said cursed ruins. They're just real laissez-faire. At one point towards the end, Brendan Fraser is like... He finally gets the kid into the temple, and he's like, Oh, oh right, oh, because you have to get goes, him in for daylight. He goes, oh, it's hard being a father. And I wanted the kid to be like, well, it's hard being your son. <laughs> because you guys are a mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not easy being a dad. Well, I mean, I could talk about Brendan Fraser for... Well, he is Days? very charming. Days? Particularly oh my God. in Mrs. Winterbourne, I if you haven't just, watched it. He is endlessly charismatic and charming to me. He really I is. I just love him. Yeah, he's great. I think he's better in The Mummy versus yeah. The Mummy Returns. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Um, yet I think that she is better in The Mummy Returns versus The Mummy. Mm -hmm. In The Mummy, yeah. she's a little bit too much of like... Oh, I knocked over these bookshelves. Oh, well, I'm so helpless. Yeah, that was a mess. You know, and then in The Mummy Returns, it's like, oh, she is an explorer of, of yeah. ancient artifacts. Yeah. So I think that's what I prefer I more than, like, in her the, as an actress. Yeah, I guess in the first one, she becomes... Like, yes. She gets over, like, that's true. Well, no, I knocked it over. I don't have any self-confidence. Yeah, um, pretty quick, actually. That's true, that's true. Fairly fast. <laughs> if you want to watch a good Brendan Fraser movie, too, that's... Also a rom-com. There's this one that no one's ever heard of called Still Breathing. It's really good. I haven't heard of it. I think he's like a puppeteer in San Antonio, Texas. I know that sounds like the worst thing ever, but it's really rather good. Okay, great. He has long hair too, but it works. Uh, his hair... Mm, it's problematic. Yeah. He well, has a haircut okay. as if he needs to constantly have it gelled back, like like a Cary Grant. Yes. But it's constantly not gelled and falling in his face, so it looks like a wig. And then you're like, is it a wig? And then you're like, maybe it's not. Maybe it is. He had a haircut that needed to be styled. Yes. It was not a wash and go uh -uh. situation. Which would be the logical thing if you're in the desert. And if you're like a adventuring, exactly. you know, yank. Give me a crew cut, thanks. Eh, somewhere in between. Sure. Like your hair. Oh. The first movie, I feel, took its time more. Yeah, well, you have like the I, whole, like, a nox, the, the love story. The love story is set and up. you feel bad for him because like, he's a villain, but you feel for him because yes. it's like, oh, he just wants to be reunited with his love. Exactly. And I remember when he's like mummified alive and everything. That's yes. so scary. It and fucked. Really You're like, no, the poor guy. But I did think, watching it this time, I noticed they do the curse that. Hodai Ted. Yeah, right, the, the, yeah. Hamdi Ted. There's some word for There's it. A, yeah. He was condemned to endure the home die. That they mummify him, like, cut out his tongue, mummify him alive, and put the scarabs in so he's, like, being eaten for and years. And apparently years. it turns him into this. So, but the funny thing is, like, if they basically say, like, when they do, when they mummify you this way, that if you ever get... Woken, woken up. Woken up, you have like superpowers. Yes. An unholy flesh eater with the strength of ages, power over the sands, and the glory of invincibility. Maybe just Maybe don't, don't do that. Don't do it. Like I was like, well, wait, but like even if on the slightest chance that he gets out, maybe don't do it. Just mummify him regular? Yeah. yeah. Just, that's probably that's probably a good enough. Right? Oh, like, oh you murdered him a lot like you, you mummified we him mummified alive. Him alive. That That's seems enough. pretty bad. Like, the whole second movie definitely felt like, you know what was missing in the first one? A lot of backstory. And I was like, not really. Not really. Not good. But I do kind of... So I, I, I mean, they I, showed stuff from a different angle, which yes. is cool. And my favorite scene in the movie is a flashback. Where they're fighting each other. Where they're it's, fighting each other and it's fucking fabulous. Yes. I would so, okay, it. so the, they decide nonsensically mm. that Rachel Weiss-Weiss Vice, sorry. Vice? Rachel Vice. Rachel Vice's character. Is um, Nefertiti. Is, is reincarnated in Nefertiti. I remember Vice. from my previous life. And you're like, but you look the same? Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. And apparently, like, Anaxina Moon was, like, a warrior princess. Uh, yeah. Who then taught Nefertiti to be, to be a warrior princess yeah. as well. But that was the best scene. It was the by far the best scene. And it then the re also... and then, like, the new one where she's like, 
and a little something new where she like headbutts her. Oh, yeah. She's like, what? It's 1933. Because apparently that's a fighting move that was used in 1933. I think they meant that like Rick taught her. <laughs> that's a little something new. Maybe The Rock showed them how. Maybe The Rock showed them we the have, way. We haven't even talked about We haven't about even that. talked about The Rock. You know what was actually really a bummer? Okay, so I watched the first one. Uh-huh. I hadn't watched these movies in probably 10 years. But when the second one, when I started watching the second one, I was like, oh my god, The Rock is in this. Of course this is going to be a better movie. And then you're like, wait, you never see him ever again. I definitely remembered him being in more of the movie, and he is not. He's like But not. then I remembered he got his own movie. Like the Scorpion King. Yes, the Scorpion King. King. It's just his backstory. Was that in between or was after. that after? No, everyone. Because this before... was The Rock's first like movie. Yeah. Oh like, yeah. First like. But yeah, he wasn't I like a real. I forgot that this was like the break of. It's so weird to think Which about is it now. Crazy. I definitely was like, oh yeah, The Rock's in this. Oh, he's not at all in this. Movie. No. Oh, he's. He gone. literally is at the beginning. Does, does he have any lines? Haku Masente. I... And then he's just CG'd. Oh boy, are and we it's, there? It's Talk the, about it's it. It's the worst It's CG. the funniest thing I've seen <laughs> I, since I, Gods I, of Egypt. I literally, it came on, it's like, oh, and now the Scorpion King, and I... Die. Lost it. Oh, it's the funniest thing. I had to pause the yeah, movie. I was laughing so hard. Hysterical. Aside from the fact that it just looks like a cartoon, <laughs> I really don't understand the choice that he's basically like a, a scorpion, scorpion centaur. They're like, what do we need to get his sexy chest in there and his dumb face? <laughs> like the muscly arms. And the but they have to have little pincers. But he's have pincers and, and a scorpion body. Who made this choice, though? <laughs> It's the worst. It's the worst. Remember when the entire jungle CG like sucks into this pyramid? It just looks like green, I don't know. Like, like N64 grass, Donkey Kong grass, at like level six like, or something. Oh, it was so fucking funny. <laughs> so stupid. I just don't understand how they fell off a cliff so hard with the CG. Like it looks right? decidedly worse than the first one. Right? Decidedly. And there's some pretty funny stuff in the first I think one. there was just more of it and so they didn't they had like the same budget but they had more well it suffered from the phantom menace syndrome where it was like oh in the first one they were just fighting the mummy by the end of this movie brendan fraser is fighting the scorpion king yep. and, and the, the mummy. mummy rachel vice is fighting mm -hmm. an oxygen moon the magi are fighting anubis's an army, army. There, i mean it was just it was like four things were happening at once. It yeah. was just like so much. You know who was going to play Rick O'Connell? No. It was going to be Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh God, that would have been so insufferable. It would have been awful. So it been insufferable. Awful. What a horribly different movie. What a horribly different movie. But he couldn't do it because he'd already signed on to do The Beach. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that really worked out for him. <laughs> I mean, he does have an Oscar now, but... <laughs> It killed his career for a while. For, for a, a while. Period of time. Yeah. Oh boy, the beach. I, so anyway, I'm con concerned about the new one. Um. Because these I are so much fun, and I just don't know if they get it. Oh, I'm not gonna compare them at all. I don't think they're the same thing. No. At all. Well, and the new they one takes place in like modern day. It takes place in modern day. I Which removes half of the fun already. Like, because yes. this, these had like that Indiana Jones, like, oh, this 1920s. is like. 1920s. Yeah, we're here, we're here. Right we're solid, you know, to give it like, oh, I'm my friend, welcome. You yeah, know, like, exactly. oh, this is great, I love it. You know, yeah. it's like the yeah. costumes. I mean, I could talk about Rachel Weiss's costumes for days. They were so fucking fabulous. I want them all. I want them. <laughs> Even in the second one. Great. Yeah. Her outfits were great. Although I was really getting annoyed in the opening scene when she just like had her sweater off her shoulder and I was like, girl, it's okay. We don't need to look like the vulnerable woman. How many times do you think they said O'Connell in the first movie? O'Connell. Mr. O'Connell. O'Connell. Hey, Mr. O'Connell. Mr. O'Connell. O'Connell. O'Connell! 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 Hey, O'Connell. O'Connell. Hey, O'Connell. O'Connell. Mr. O'Connell. Mr. O'Connell. Hey, O'Connell. Oh, O'Connell. O'Connell, what do you think you are doing? O'Connell. 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 
O'Connell. I could listen to Rachel Vice say O'Connell. Mr. O'Connell. A million times. Oh, I love and I totally bought their love story. Oh yes, the great and chemistry. I th I love John Hanna, her brother. I think he's really yeah. Funny. He had a lot less to do in the second movie. I was like, you're here. Really, I feel like he had more to do in the second movie. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because he had like the whole thing. He was, he was like he basically was... like babysitting the child, oh, and then maybe that's why it was so annoying. Well, sure, and he then was just more caricature. He was. It was like no, I'm like the, I can't do anything. You know, it was like he was not as strong. No, it, like in the first one, he's just an asshole. Right. Who's like a swindler? Yes. Who's out for himself? And yes. You're like okay, and he's kind of a coward. And right. And then this one, he was like a buffoon. Exactly. Like, that's oh, true. My God. I would definitely be down, and maybe this already exists. Not sure for a Tomb Raider-esque, like, mummy-themed video, video game. Or, like, Uncharted. I mean, I, it's based, this movie's basically Uncharted, but... I don't I know. I would so assume down. that the video game exists. I would that seemed like does, a thing that I they were doing. I also feel like I would know about it because I was so right. into the movie. But, I mean, who knows? I would be down to, though. It, it seemed... It, it just felt like it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, the second one particularly oh felt like a video game. Yes. And now, here's this fight sequence. Punch, punch, the money yeah. on the bus. <laughs> Once they figured out that the cat scared him, I didn't know why they didn't have that cat in a around, bag. Right? Just carry the cat I mean, I guess they you. said once he's fully formed, he's not scared of cats anymore. That was correct. But wouldn't, like, but why the wouldn't, other mummies maybe be scared of cats? So there's, like, the four guys, the Americans, which was such a character turn. Oh my god, but I kind of loved it. Sure. They all look like brawny. Oh, yeah. some of them were pretty cute. Um, yes. Oh yes. They open the chest and they're like, oh, well, that just sealed your curse. Like, the, the gold pieces of Pirates of the Caribbean. Great. Except they can't return them back to the chest. Yeah. They're just screwed. They're, They're gonna just die. fucked. One of them dies like pretty quickly, right? Or he the takes his eyes and his tongue. I always felt really bad. I always felt, I want, especially because I have really horrible eyesight. I'm like, that, that would have been me. Yeah. That, that would have been me. Yeah. And then I would have been captured by the mummy, yeah. would have stolen my horrible eyes, and I've been like, joke's on you, dude. Can't see anything. I did think it was weird that he went for the guy with the bad eyes first. <laughs> That's true. And I also always thought it was going to be like, oh, I'm going to take his eyes and his tongue. Sure. And, his and like, like heart, collect parts from different people. I didn't realize he needed to take the complete life force out of yeah, all of Yeah, he really, them. he hocus pocus them. Yes. But oh. if you're O'Connell, wouldn't you just fan everyone out and be like, look, he can only regenerate if he gets to every one of these motherfuckers. Right. So let's give everyone a cat to hold on to, like Dr. Evil. I mean, that would have been a good idea. Stick them in a chair, protect them with as much shit as possible, and be like, okay, you're here, you go somewhere else far away. Yeah. You go somewhere else. Like, now this money's got to be traveling all across the fucking Egyptian lands to get his shit back together before they're not able to use the cats to scare him away. I that guess just seems like a logical thing to do. It does. It's too logical. I guess It would make for a bad O'Connell, movie. They all, it's four men sitting in chairs with cats. cats. No, don't come near me. Cat. <laughs> Dust. Cat. Dust! Cat! There was also, when they all are at their London mansion, and then the, there was a lot of people in, in this movie. In the second movie. one. In the second one. The, red, the guys in the red outfits showed up to get oh, yeah. John Hanna with his floozy, and then uh, Oksana Boyol shows up, and then she has a snake. <gasps> yeah, that's right, and she's like, oh, And then she's like, here, and she gives it. To, or does she throw it at Rick? She throws it at him. But then he throws it right back at their faces. And I thought, you know, more movies could use, like, snake punches. Snake, like, in Hard Target, where, where John Claude Van Damme just, just punches a snake in the face. And it's so funny. He funny. grabs it out he, of the air uh, and throws it back and kills a man. And he's like, he ah! Oh, I mean, I would like to love to see here the body count. If somebody feels like doing the body count for the first movie and the second movie and letting us know. The second movie is at least 200. At least! Because there's like all of those bodyguard whatever. Remember just, like, in the first well, movie? And then, and then there's all, all the zombies and they just mow them down. That's Rick's true. Like, yeah, just, just like, drive, like, drive through them. them. Like, what's going on? That's great. It was pretty crazy. Yeah, but then in the second one too, there's the forest thing with those crazy CG monkeys. They looked awful. Yeah. 
And that's They reminded me, you know what's really funny though? What? I mean, it reminded me of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yes! I was going to say, speaking of Indiana Jones, they reminded me of Indiana Jones 4. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the mummy is... Maybe it's four. in... No, I mean, the was, mummy... Oh, yeah. ...is like Indiana Jones, mm -hmm. with like a little bit of Last Crusade in there. Yeah. And the mummy returns is definitely Crystal Skull. Yeah. But like... Better. Better. Like, definitely better. Because Crystal Skull made me, like, deeply sad. Crystal Skull is deeply, perhaps deeply one of the sad. worst movies I've seen in the past... Uh, possibly ever. I think it's the saddest movie-going experience I've had. Anyway, I would say, I mean, if you haven't watched them already in anticipation of this review... Oh, holy shit. Watch the first one for sure. For sure. And then the second one, like, watch with wine. Absolutely. The first one you yes. can just watch. Yeah. And it's like, oh, this is fabulous. But they're all kind of better inebriated in some way. Oh, now I see why you like the second one so much. <laughs> no, actually, the second one I watched uh, at like uh, 2 p.m. Uh, I'm <laughs> totally I'm sober. To I'm trying to believe you. <laughs> well, so anyway, here's to the mummy. And to, and to Rachel Weisz, let's be honest. The goddess that is Rachel Weisz. She really is. Oh, yeah. <laughs>